Hello everyone, welcome to the engineeringprojects.com. In my previous video tutorial, I have already told you then how to plot or how to generate a rectangular signal in the MATLAB with the three different time durations. And now this video tutorial is about how to calculate the result of the convolution of the two different signals in MATLAB. So open your MATLAB software and editor generate the time duration i am taking it taking it as 0 to 1 generate the frequency of the first signal as 4 hertz and of the second signal as a 5 hertz now generate the first signal as x1 sine of 2 pi f1 dot steric t and define the second signal in the f having the frequency f2 replace sine with the cos and x1 with the x2 now these are the signals and now i'm going to convolve both of the signals x1 and x2 and uh, i'm going to save the result in the variable x convolution can be performed in the matlab using the command conv conv is the abbreviation of convolution that is the first four words of convolution are conv so now place the first signal and comma separated place the second signal and don't forget to put clc at the start of the code in order to clear the entire command window just after running the program now run the program and move to the command window oh nothing is there sorry I think I have put the semicolon there yes it is remove the semicolon from the statement and run the program move to the command window you can see the result of the convolution of the both signals x1 and x2 has been displayed on the command window and is stored in the x so that's all from the tutorial that how to calculate the convolution of the two different signals in MATLAB. Take care. Bye-bye.